Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Social Distancing Diary with Baseball Cards. Hey, I'm starting to need a haircut. Anybody else out there? <laughs> All right, let's get started with some Dodgers vintage and some tribute cards this time. Let's start out with actual vintage. This is a great way to get Hall of Famers on the cheap from their playing days. One of my tricks is to buy them on a group photo. Here we go, look at this. Dodgers Big Three, and how classic is this? Johnny Padres, Don Drysdale, and Sandy K, all on one card. Pick this up at a decent price because it's a group card and you've already got multiple Hall of Famers in your collection on a very attractive card. I love this one. Found this at a card show, but I don't remember exactly when and where. Here we go. Again, more group together. Dodger Southpaws, two of the greatest Southpaws ever. Koufax and Padres, both World Series heroes in their own rights. And of course, Padres owning the Yankees in 55. Two complete game wins and a shutout in game seven, 1955, the Boys of Summer only championship. Here we go. Now, again, Talking about multiple uh, Hall of Famers on one card. I'm always surprised I can pick up these cards for like a buck or two. How do you get Koufax and Drysdale for a dollar or two? Here we go. This is uh, 62 tops and it's got the cardboard. Okay, we have strikeout leaders. I think that's what this one is. Yeah, strikeout leaders. So there you go. That's 62. Did they appear together on a card in 63? Yes, they did. Here we go, 63, Drysdale, Koufax. The left-right combination punch that the Dodgers had through the early 60s. And some other guy in the corner. Okay, here we go, 62 and 63. Did they do it in 64? Were they on a card together in 64? Yes, they were. Koufax. Drysdale, ERA leaders this time. Beautiful card. Here we go. And then to round it out, 1965, um, pitching leaders, overall pitching leaders, Koufax and Drysdale once again. Here we go. And then some guy in the middle. Now, Koufax tribute cards. I wanted to show you these two that came to me from... Um, fellow collectors that sent them out to me. Check this out. Dodger Patch, Sandy Koufax, Manu Patch, Manufactured Patches of Koufax, both slightly different. And both off of the Koufax Rookie card. So this is Koufax Rookie Patch. There we go, that's attractive. Nothing special in the back, just some info. Congratulations, you pulled a uh, you pulled an insert, and here we go. This is the other one, the other manufactured patch off the same card, slightly different, and the difference being on this one, um, and actually, now that I look at it, it's pretty much the same. I thought the other one, you can see the home plate cut out here. See that? They didn't cut out home plate on the other one, but now that I look closely under it, which I never inspected that closely, I see home plate underneath the cardboard cutout laser cut there. So it is an entire rookie card patch. They may have used the same one, but mine are different in coloration. See that? Nevertheless, great that I own two variations. I love it. Now here's another tribute card that I wanted to show you that I love that somebody sent to me and these made their way into my favorite binders. Speaking of laser cuts, here we go. Look at these. Cut like pennants. 
This is great. So I forget who sent these to me, but thank you very much. I love them. Great. There's probably more Dodgers from this subset. Oh, and check this out. They are limited edition on the back. Limited edition cards. Great. Okay. How about this one? This is a uh, 49 World Series card. Commemorative tribute. I love to collect them. This is a very old this card here, what is this? This is from FLIR, manufactured by FLIR, uh, 1968. So not bad, qualifies as decent vintage. So I like that. <clears throat> These are not old. These come from the 80s, but this is my, uh, this is like an 80s tribute card, but it's really the only card I have with Casey Stengel with the Brooklyn Dodgers. <laughs> so it finds its way into my binders. And finally, I like these as well. These are from the 60s, late 60s. There's a subset like this, but these are the only two that I have. Roy Campanella and Zach Wheat. Zach Wheat from way back when, a great hit leader. Okay, closing out, I wanted to show, I recently received a PWE from uh, Tom from uh, Angels in Order. And he sent me, this 1956 Don Descent. There it is, Tom. It made its way into my 56 Dodgers binder page. I'm collecting the Dodgers subsets from all the years, right? These are the 56 Dodgers. And this is all I have from 1956. So you can see I have a long way to go to finish my collecting. But thank you. You got me one step closer to completion Thanks a lot, Tom. All right, wanted to show that off. So thanks for watching, everybody. And by the way, uh, there's the uh, decal in the back. Some of you might have been wondering. Redecorating my son's room. We're redoing the room. And uh, that's for him. And he likes it. All right, so see you next time. Thanks for watching Social Distancing with Baseball Cards. See you later. Peace.